So hello and welcome back and we have just finished listening to the Duchess of Sussex who is joined by Melody Hobson who is the CEO and president of Aerial Investments and they had this very very interesting panel. So of course the topic of conversation is how can women reach economic and professional parity? And Duchess Megan and Melody Hobson shared top-down solutions with Andrew Sorkin at the Deal Book Online Summit. So they dropped quite a few nuggets of wisdom. I absolutely enjoyed the panel, and we learned so much about uh, both of these very intelligent women in this panel and their beliefs. So it, it was a very light-hearted conversation. There was just so much um, wisdom being dropped. So. Uh, of course, I won't go through point by point. I will just talk here about the highlights and the standouts to me, and I would love to know yours in the comment section. So if there's anything that stood out to you, please get in that comment section and share below. So one of the highlights of this event to me was the fact that it had been reported that she had been making phone calls to some very important people concerning the paid leave that, of course, Megan has been championing. So she was asked about the responses of they who picked up the phones. He asked, were they surprised? And I believe that Megan said that she thought that they might be surprised. And when he asked her and pressed her more on why she had to do this, because of course there was a perception about her that she is, you know, living a life of privilege. So why make that her issue? And she said that it's not for her a political issue. It is a humanitarian issue. And for her, it's very important to her to have both moms and dads have that valuable time to bond with their newborns and of course she brought up the fact that lily bet is only five months old and her and harry have absolutely had such a wonderful time with the privilege that they have been a being able to bond with her in those early months and of course she is just championing what she feels is the right thing to do she said that's something she's been doing ever since she wrote in concerning the infamous <laughs> advert right now or the famous advert where um you know we all know where she wrote back in the day to the proctor company about their advert and the wording so she says it's something she's always done so it seemed right to her to champion this very important cause of the paid family leave and of course we are all hopeful and praying that the united states will pull through on that she said that living abroad for so many years in canada for about seven years and in the uk it surprised her that the u.s was lagging behind in the paid family leave so for her as i said before it's the right thing to do so Share your thoughts with me about that. So another standout to me on the summit was when her and Melody spoke about um, how they are as women bosses. And they both um, touched on the fact that how women sometimes, when they are labeled as ambitious, it is a negative connotation. And of course, Megan said, when men or little boys are spoken of as being ambitious, that that tends to be a positive trait. So she said that they both actually hoped that there could be a narrative shift for girls and women that ambition is not a bad thing. Um, so that was quite a standout as well. And them both being bosses, uh, Melody shared this that was very, very interesting. She said that as a CEO, being a woman who, you know, of course, has accomplished so much, she said that navigating her space as a boss, she said that sometimes she did find that she could, in some situations, find herself having to modulate. In other words, trying to not intimidate those who she was in contact with. And of course, at the same time, not being intimidated by them. And she said that that was not necessarily a bad thing. She just found that sometimes she had to find a way to connect with the people who she was, you know, in businesses with and as a boss of course um so that was very interesting melody she is just so intelligent and this is a by the way for many of us who perhaps thought that the duchess of sussex and melody were just teaming up for this megan shared that some mutual friends put them in touch they said to duchess megan that she had to know melody hobson and they have had such a friendship that they've struck up and Megan sees Melody like a mentor to her uh, because she's someone who has a lot of experience and has navigated very, very top spaces as a woman, as a black woman and has done so, so successfully. So she's someone who's gone 
you know, had paved the way. And Megan sees her as someone who can instruct her, um, even someone who she can look to when she signs contracts, um, who can help her know that this is what to look for, this is what to do, not to do, and this is what, you know, to be cautious of. So I like the fact that they do have this relationship that's, you know, far-reaching and is intimate and is a mentoring relationship. So that was very good to know that Melody is in the Duchess of Sussex's life. And that for me is just like a top standout. I think that is just so great. Um, so once again, let me know your thoughts about that as well. So another standout to this is a very lighthearted story that Megan shared that her values of being hardworking and she says that she values the dignity of labor. It, she said it comes from her parents, I think, that they are both hardworking. And as a little girl, she said that she would be taken by her mother to some uh, markets and buy some fabrics to make scrunchies. And she said that when she sold them and when she got her first compensation, it empowered her, it taught her quite a lesson in what it means to be financially independent. And I think that's something that she's gone through all her life. She described herself as hardworking. And I think that's true. If you know anyone who's been in the entertainment industry, the hours sometimes can be absolutely grueling, learning your lines and, you know, hitting all your marks on the day and coming through is something that is so important and learning that there's no I in team. So this is a team player, a hard worker. And I love that about Megan. One more thing she said that something stuck with her that has always been with her. She, from the time she used to clip coupons as a young girl, she says, even online these days, when she shops online, she tries to figure out if anything she's about to purchase may have a promo code. So in one way or another, that kind of stuck with her. And I think that was a very fun, lighthearted thing for Megan to throw in there. Um, we are learning so much about them. And one more thing about Melody, I loved the fact that she shared this with people. She weighed in on this whole new uh, dynamic of zooming in as opposed to being there in person. And Melody shared the fact that she believes that that kind of dichotomy will not go away soon. Um, there is quite a few benefits to it. And she said something quite interesting. Um, there is nothing more detrimental to one's career as them ghosting people on their Zoom meetings. And she said, you know, just having their little box there and them not showing up. She said it was a surefire way to basically make them unsuccessful. And, you know, it was quite an interesting thing that she said there. It was speaking to the fact of being diligent no matter what the avenues of conducting business were. And she did speak about the fact that people will be leveraging this online as well as in-person hybrid situation for companies and all kind of workspaces moving forward. So that was quite interesting that Melody shared that. And Melody also pointed out something that was so interesting. She spoke about the math of measuring all things across all categories and not just having this amorphous um, category in companies called diversity. She said that many of those programs sometimes are semi-unfocused and she did really speak about this as what she's observed, not in a victimized or a kind of victim mentality. She said it was something that she had observed, especially as a black woman, that there needs to be more targeted um, programs for specific groups, not just this diversity umbrella that is so you know amorphous and has no clear goals. So of course, Melody shared that wisdom, and you know it's a lot coming from her. She is someone who is you know, a hardworking woman, smart, and, you know, she's all about the math, the numbers. So that was quite good for her to bring up specifically, you know, black women empowerment in, you know, the United States and where it's applicable. So that was very, very cool of Melody to say that. Diversity, especially for black women, needs to be targeted and it needs to be focused. So one more thing that they both spoke about progress and how in the future, many of the problems would be addressed. And of course, um, they both ended up on this hopeful note of hopefully that we are moving the needle forward, especially on this economic and professional parity, following the numbers and knowing that anytime someone does something that is right within a company, that 
is beneficial to the employees it will also impact the investors and on and on so they did end on that positive and hopeful note so a lot went on i would love to share more with you but right now i'd like to know your thoughts in the comments section what a great talk by melody and the duchess of sussex and i'm so happy to know that they are um, actual friends in real life and duchess megan has quite a mentor in melody hobson so once again, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching this. Before we log off, thank you to all my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters for this channel. Your support and financial giving means so much, and you do support these videos coming to you, and I want to say thank you. And a special shout-out right now to my Patreon and membership supporters. Thank you to Gail Tapscott and Diane Hawkins, who I always like to remind was my first Patreon supporter for this channel. Thank you so much for your support for these videos. And if you'd like to check me out and consider supporting this channel, links will be in the pinned comment and in the description box. So this is great. Share your thoughts with me below. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you to those who like, comment, and share. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.